Okay, so now we're on to lesson three. In the last lesson, I showed you how to make a layer with using Autolisp code. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just cleaning up my code a bit. This isn't necessary at this stage, but if you add a semicolon, it cancels out or nullifies the rest of that line. For example, for example, if I put one here, here, all this won't do anything. The purpose for this is it allows you to leave notes in the code. So I'm going to do here is put end defund. Here I'm going to put um, start new function below. I'm going to use the command function again. Dash layer, m for make. We're going to give this a layer, the name, we're going to make the name of it viewport. Give it a color. I'm going to choose color 177. That's like a purple color. Choose any color you want, of course. hit the enter key. We're going to give it a line type. If you were at the command prompt at this point, you'd hit LT for line type. I want it to be phantom 2. What was our last thing? It was a plot or no plot. So P for plot. No plot. And then we hit enter one more time to exit the command. So just in case I made a mistake, let's test this out. Make sure that works. And sure enough, it did. So I'm going to show you another function now. It's called the table search function. Anytime I introduce a new function, if you want to know more about it, go to Google and search the function and Autolisp together, of course. Usually an Autodesk help page comes up, which is very descriptive, and some other resources as well, as well like mes message forms and whatnot. Basically, the table search function searches the various AutoCAD tables. There's one for layers, one for line types. I'm not going to get too far into it in this beginner tutorial, but all this is doing is it's searching for our layer. You can search for any layer that's in the drawing. Basically, we're trying to see if this layer exists or not. So let's put it into our, our console. This is an entity list. Not something I want to get into in this tutorial, but for now, just, just imagine that this is something. Let's put a test five. There's no layer name that in my drawing right now. Let's see what happens. Autolisp returns nil. So nil, it's not zero. Nil is nothing. Think of zero as being an actual val value. Like zero degrees is an actual temperature. Nil is, is nothing. That's like the weather station is broken and not giving us any information. We can use this to our advantage because what I want to do is make a conditional statement what I want to tell Autolisp is that if our layer, let's call it viewport, change this to viewport here as well. I want to tell Autolisp that if our layer doesn't exist, run this piece of code. So I'm going to use the if function. I want that on the same line, I think. If you'll see me add extra spaces, spaces don't really do anything. Even if I go like this, the code will work just the same. Of course,
course you want separation. I wouldn't want to do that. Notice how that turned from blue to black. But as far as just having spaces, they don't they don't have an impact. So if equals So what this is saying is if this equals this, run this piece of code. Close off our if. Leave a little note there just so we know that it ends. More important as your code gets bigger. So if equals table search layer viewport nil create this code. So if statements are actually if or else. We don't have an or else statement yet. So what this code would do is if if this condition is not true, it just won't run this. It would just pass through this piece of code. What I'm going to do is add another function called alert. Layer already exists. The alert function, I only use it to test out code. You're going to see what it actually does in just a few minutes or a few seconds here. Almost ready to test this. You can probably see that we're missing something, but let's find it by checking our code. Sure enough, it says malformed list on input, meaning I forgot something. Let's see what it was. We didn't close our command. And okay, so let's review this. We have a function. What this function will do is if this layer doesn't exist, run this piece of code. And if it does exist, run this piece of code. Let's check it one more time. No errors pop up. This is, it doesn't mean the code will work. It just means you don't have anything obvious wrong with your code, like a missing bracket. But anyway, anyways, let's load this code and see what happens. The name of the function is make layer. Okay, it worked. It made our it made our layer. Now that the layer exists, let's run that code again. So when a message comes up, it says layer already exists. Perfect. So it co our code works as intended. So in the next lesson, I'm going to start combining all this stuff together. So by the end of the next lesson, you'll actually have a usable routine. So stay tuned for that.